हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक चैप्टर नंबर टू पोलिनोमियल्स हियर वी आर गोइंग टू टेक इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर सो वी आर स्टार्ट विद द डेफिनेशन ऑफ पोलिनोमियल अ पोलिनोमियल इज एन एक्सप्रेशन व्हिच कंटेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट्स एंड वेरिएबल्स अगेन अ पोलिनोमियल इज एन एक्सप्रेशन विच कंटेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट्स एंड वेरिएबल्स एज एग्जाम्पल एक्स प्लस टू टू एक्स थ्री एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस फोर एक्स प्लस वन एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस फोर एटसेट्रा हियर वन थिंग यू हैव टू मैंशन दैट द पावर ऑफ वेरिएबल टर्म इज अ नॉन नेगेटिव इंटीजर मीन्स द पावर ऑफ इज आइदर जीरो और अ पॉजिटिव इंटीजर here i am taking one example to clear the difference between expression and polynomial which is 3 root x plus 5 here in this question in this example power of x is 1 by 2 you can check x is in square root so power of x is considered as 1 by 2 which is not a positive integer because it is a rational number right so 3 root x plus 5 is an expression but it is not a polynomial got it 3 root x plus 5 is an expression but it is not a polynomial okay the next topic is degree of a polynomial highest power of the variable term in polynomial is called degree of polynomial again highest power of the variable term in polynomial is called degree of polynomial let us take some examples regarding this first we have taken some examples here first example x square minus 1 here you can check variable term is x and highest power of the variable term is 2 x square so the power of x is 2 here so the degree of polynomial is 2 second example x cube plus 3x plus x here in this polynomial highest power of x is 3 so the degree of the polynomial is 3 third example 1 plus x cube minus x raised to 5 here you can check variable is x and highest power of x is 5 so the degree of polynomial is 5 fourth x raised to 4 plus x raised to 5 plus x cube minus 1 here also the degree of the polynomial that is degree of x power of x and highest power is 5 so the degree of polynomial is 5 right i hope you will understand the concept of degree of polynomial now coefficient of term the real number associated with the term is called coefficient of the term the real number associated with the term is called coefficient of the term as example let us take one polynomial here px is equal to 3x cube plus 5x square minus 7x plus 2 coefficient of x cube so now you have to check the real number associated with x cube is 3 so the coefficient of x cube is 3 coefficient of x square is 5 and coefficient of x is minus 7 you have to take the sign also so coefficient of x is again minus 7 2 is considered as a constant term here 2 is considered as a constant term here okay now next topic classification of polynomials classification of polynomial is done on the basis of two ways first on the basis of degree of polynomials as well as on the basis of terms so first of all take on the basis of degree of polynomial first 
linear polynomial linear polynomial means degree of the variable is 1 here that is degree of the variable term is 1 standard form of this linear polynomial is ax plus b where a is not equal to 0 you can check a is the coefficient of x which must not equal to 0 because if it is 0 then it should not be linear right so a must not equal to 0 let us take some example from this 2x plus 3 x minus 5 3x in each and every polynomial you can check highest power of x that is variable term is 1 here 2x raised to 1 x raised to 1 3 into x raised to 1 so you can check in each and every polynomial power of variable term is 1 so this polynomial is called linear polynomial second quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial that is degree of variable term is 2 here degree of variable term is 2 standard form of this polynomial is p of x is equal to a x square plus b x plus c where a must not equal to 0 because a is the coefficient of x square and if a is 0 then what happens this polynomial becomes linear because this term vanishes a x square vanishes so the term b x plus c is remaining so it becomes a linear polynomial so this condition must it is necessary one examples of this will be x square minus 9 x square plus x plus 1 x square plus 2 plus 3x etc here you can check highest power of the variable term is 2 here also 2 here also 2 so the polynomial is considered to be a quadratic polynomial okay third one cubic polynomial that is variable of the where power of the variable term is 3 here standard form of this cubic polynomial is p of x is equal to ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d again the condition is mentioned here a is not equal to 0 that is a is the coefficient of x cube and this must not equal to 0 why it is so now you can understand right Be yes because it is a coefficient and if this term is if the value of a is 0 then the term ax cube vanishes and it will become a quadratic polynomial take some example of this x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 x cube minus 8 x cube minus 7x plus 6 now in all the examples you can check the power of the variable term is 3 that is highest power highest power of the variable term is 3 so this polynomial is considered as a cubic polynomial right now the next on the basis of terms that is how many terms are there in the polynomial on the basis of that you can classify the polynomial as first monomial that is only one term in the polynomial as example 2x this is monomial 5 it is also a monomial 3x square it is also a monomial 50 into x raised to 10 it is also a monomial when we are discussing the polynomial on the basis of terms then there is no meaning of degree of the polynomial means the degrees does not play any role over here you have to count only the number of terms that is you can check in each and every polynomial the number of term is one so they are considered to be a monomial second binomial two terms now you can check some examples here x plus 2 x plus 2 this plus gives us two terms here in the second case minus gives us two terms here so each and in each and every case you can check there are two terms in the given polynomial so they are considered as a 
binomial right okay the third one trinomial that is three terms that is three terms as example x square plus 5x plus 6 x cube minus 5x plus 4 x raised to 4 minus 2x square plus 1 etc you can check there are three terms in each and every polynomial here again i am repeating that degree of polynomial doesn't play any kind of role you have to count only the number of terms one two three so this is said to be a trinomial again one two three one two three number of terms you have to count so it is said to be a trinomial okay some remarks is there if p of x is equal to zero if p of x is equal to zero then it is called a zero polynomial means if there is not any term in the polynomial then it is considered to be a zero polynomial second remark if p of x is equal to constant that is any real number as example px is equal to 2 px is equal to minus 3 these are constant numbers so if there is only constant number in the polynomial then it is called a constant polynomial right so it is called a constant polynomial next topic value of the polynomial value of the polynomial means first we will take some definition part of this suppose p of x is a polynomial and alpha is a real number then p of alpha is called value of the polynomial 8x is equal to alpha again p of x is a polynomial and alpha is a real number then p alpha is called value of polynomial 8x is equal to alpha one example we are going to take here p of x is equal to 5x cube minus 2x square plus 3x minus 2 and we have to find out the value of this polynomial 8x is equal to 5 so what we have to do we have to put x is equal to 5 in place of x in place of x in left hand side also as well as in right hand side also okay p5 we have put 5 in place of x so p5 is equal to 5 into 5 cube minus 2 into 5 square plus 3 into 5 minus 2 now we have to calculate this 5 into 5 cube 5 cube means 125 and 125 5 are 625 minus 5 square that is 25 25 2 za 50 5 3 za 15 minus 2 let us take the addition of the positive terms so 625 plus 15 that is 640 and minus 50 minus 2 that is minus 52 so when we will subtract this we will have 588 right so 588 is called value of p of x at x is equal to 5 so in this way we can find out the value of any polynomial at the given points here points must be given so you can find out the value of the polynomial okay friends now we are going to take ex exercise from your textbook exercise 2.1 here you have to mention k the given examples are polynomials or not in one variable polynomials in one variable or not first question 4x square minus 3x plus 7 so is it is a polynomial in one variable yes because each and every power of variable term is a non-negative integer right second question y square plus root 2 now you will confuse here root 2 is there but here it is mentioned that it is a polynomial in one variable yes root 2 is a constant number here no variable is associated 
right variable y square is here and the you can check the power of the variable term is positive integer here so it is a polynomial it is the constant term which is in square root but it is considered as a real number it is not a power of variable term here it is a power of constant term that is real number so it is a polynomial in one variable so it is yes 3 root t plus t root 2 here you can check t is the variable here which is in square root that is power of t is 1 by 2 which is not a positive integer so it is not a polynomial in one variable y plus 2 upon y here y is in the denominator and when any term is in the denominator then what should be the power of the denominator term here that is minus 1 right so this is also not a polynomial in one variable because the power of this y is minus 1 okay fifth one x raised to 10 plus y raised to 3 plus t raised to 50 here you can check very easily that this is not a polynomial in one variable because three variables are there x y and t so it is not a polynomial okay question number two you have to find out the coefficient of x square in each of the following polynomials first 2 plus x square plus x here you have to find out the coefficient of x square so what which real number is a is associated with x square so nothing is there so it is considered as a 1 so 1 x square plus x that is coefficient of x square is this one right because we have seen that what should be the definition of coefficient of x square yes real number associated with the term is called coefficient of x square and here 1 is the number associated with x square so coefficient of x square is 1 okay question number 2 2 minus x square plus x cube so what is the coefficient of x square here again the real number associated with x square is 1 but minus sign is here so it is considered as a minus 1 so coefficient of x square is minus 1 okay next question pi by 2 x square plus x here coefficient of x square is pi by 2 this is the real number associated with x square so it is pi by 2 root 2x minus 1 here you can check x square is not present means the term of x square is not here so the coefficient of x square is 0 when the term is not there then the coefficient is considered to be 0 okay question number three here you have to give example of binomial of degree 35 now you can you know binomial means a polynomial having two terms and degree 35 means the variable the degree of variable term must be 35 so i have given two answers here you can check x raised to 35 plus 1 you can check degree of the polynomial is 35 and the terms are 2 so it is binomial means having two terms of degree 35 again I have taken some example another example here 2 into y raised to 35 minus 3 you can again check number of terms is 2 and the degree of variable term is 35 you can make lots of examples regarding this right there is no such two answers there there are lots of answers there which will you can write now the next is monomial of degree 100 monomial of degree 100 that is x raised to 100 monomial means number of terms is 1 and here also you can check 2 into y raised to 100 that is in both the cases it these are the monomial of degree 100 you can take more examples regarding this also right question number 4 and question number 5 that are the very nominal questions right so you will because that they are regarding the degree of the polynomial and this one is regarding the differentiate that is either it is uh, monomial binomial or trinomial 
or it is related to the degree of the variable term right so you will check it out okay thank you we will stop this video too thank you